Understanding, shoot down in flames. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, shoot down in flames. This expression is rich in imagery and emotion, and understanding it can greatly enhance your English comprehension and expression. So, let's get started and explore what it means to be shot down in flames. Initially, the phrase, shoot down in flames, conjures images of an airplane being shot down from the sky, engulfed in flames. This vivid picture is not just about the physical act of falling but also symbolizes a dramatic and sudden failure or defeat. It's a powerful image that sets the stage for the metaphorical meanings we use in everyday language. In a metaphorical sense, to shoot someone down in flames means to reject or criticize someone's ideas, plans, or arguments forcefully and decisively. It's not just a simple no. It's a no that leaves no room for doubt, often publicly and emphatically. This expression is commonly used in debates, discussions, and anytime someone's suggestion is completely overturned. Example in use. In a meeting, Imagine someone proposes a new idea during a team meeting, but it is quickly rejected by others with strong counter-arguments. You could say the idea was shot down in flames. When using the phrase, shoot down in flames, it's important to understand the context. It's best used in situations where there is a clear and strong rejection or failure. Here are some tips. Use it to describe situations where there is a significant and clear defeat or rejection. It can be used both in personal and professional contexts, but be mindful of its strong imagery and potential negative connotation. Avoid using it in sensitive situations where it might be too harsh or could hurt someone's feelings. I hope this video has illuminated the phrase, shoot down in flames, for you. It's a potent expression that vividly conveys the idea of a dramatic failure or rejection. Remember, language is not just about words but the images and emotions they evoke. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this explainer helpful. Don't forget to practice using new phrases in your conversations for better retention and understanding. See you in the next video.